the man that you next up, next up, next up, we have Mr. Chris Barton. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing today, brother? Man, I'm doing pretty good. Doing good, man. Just just blessed to be here, man. For sure. Hey. Amen. Amen. Well, you are a veteran on this show, is that correct? Well, I've been here a few times, yeah. <laughs> been here a few times and blessed the airwaves. So thank you for so much for doing that, man. I see that you are coming to us out of the Lone Star State. What what city are you representing? I'm in I'm in Longview. Texas. It's it's a couple hours east of Dallas. So. Okay. Okay. A couple hours. So you're you're getting closer to Louisiana. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're about an hour. Well, probably a little less than an hour from the border. So. Hey. Yeah. Well, you can go west into the desert or go east and fight gators, man. Your choice. <laughs> no right. <laughs> <laughs> That's man. right. So I see in your bio, before I read it, one thing I wanted to point out, that you started composing songs at 16 years old. That's Is right. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Wow, man. Yeah, man. tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so um, I got my first guitar. My, my sister and my brother-in-law got me my first guitar when I was 16. And uh, I... I started learning to play the guitar and I started writing songs at the time. Um, at that time, I was dealing with a lot of depression and a lot of just crazy hard emotions. And um, so like my first songs were about like being torn and, you know, feeling rejected and feeling all these feelings. And um, I don't even I don't even have those songs anymore. I, I think I ended up like burning them at some point. But um, in about a year, God turned my whole life around and just um, began to do a work in my heart, began to change some things, began to bring me out of those places of depression and anxiety and and uh, really, you know, did an amazing work. And uh, I started writing songs about the Lord and and. Uh, course you know when you're when you're young and you're just starting writing you know none of the songs are really that good it was just you know heartfelt expressions and um i continued writing songs throughout the years but um really i didn't i didn't get serious uh, really serious about it until around 2019 2020 and um man it's been a wild ride ever since it's been good man and awesome and i've, I've been able to um get involved with some amazing people, um, community of songwriters and been able to do some really cool co-writes and um, release my first song back in 2022 called You Are My Hope and then uh, had a song released this year by a group um, that uh, the song was called Encounter and they did an amazing job on it and so you know God's just been really doing some incredible things but you know that was Man, it, I was 16 when I started. I'm 40 now, so it's been, it's been a minute, you know. <laughs> so, um, but God has been opening doors for me lately, and uh, just, I'm, I'm so thankful for what He's doing, you know. And uh, uh, it's been a long time, you know, just writing. But, but the more that I write, the, the easier it becomes. The better, you know. Uh, the more people I connect with, and, and the, there's power in co-writing, just like Zach and Leslie, you know, writing on that song together with with Joy. Um, man, there's so much power in in connecting with people. Um, I found a lot of times I struggled writing uh, worship music before I joined some songwriting communities. I had words, I just couldn't come up with the melodies, and just being exposed to other people and the way that they phrase things, the way that they, you know. Uh, the melodies that they would have, it just inspired me so much. And, and God has really opened some things in my mind and, and done done some really cool stuff lately. So, yeah, I'm excited. Well, amen and glory to God. Now I am going to read this man's uh, artist bio. So, Chris Barton is a Christian singer, songwriter, and a musician based in Texas in the USA. He is a husband, father, son, brother, friend, and minister. 
His love for Christian music originated from his upbringing in the church, where his mother played the piano and sang for the Lord. He began singing in church at a very young age, and he started composing songs at the age of 16 when he received his first guitar. He studied theology at Texas Bible College from, college from 2002 to 2005, where he was also heavily involved in the choir, chorale, and men's quartet. In recent years, he has pursued Christian songwriting as part of the ministry into which the Lord has called him. He joined the Christian Music Mentor Mentorship Program, Kingdom Music Academy, in March of 2020, where he has gained invaluable insight, wisdom, knowledge, and friendships to help him grow in the songwriting and artistry. He released his debut single, You Are My Hope, in February of 2022, in which he conveys the hope we have in Christ. He is passionate about creating music that reveals the unconditional love and redeeming nature of Jesus Christ and that encourage pe encourages people to experience the transformative power of his presence. He is consistently working on his craft and seeks to honor the Lord in every aspect of his life and his music. Man, quite the bio, brother. It's a lot yeah. to live up to. For sure. Hey. <laughs> Hey, amen. Well, what you got coming up? What you got cooking on the number one spot for us tonight? Man, on the number one song is a it's a it's a brand new song. Um, last week was Mother's Day, and my pastor's wife spoke, and there was a part of her message that she spoke that just like resonated with with me, and I just I I was thinking that while she was speaking i was like this is there's a song in this there's there's a song in this and i went home and sunday evening i went back and was listening to the video recording of the, of the message and i sat down on my piano and just wrote this song that that's called yet will i and uh it's based on uh job 13 where he said uh, though he slay me yet will i trust him and so that's kind of where the gist of it comes from so yeah let's see here even when i don't understand even when it doesn't make sense even when I just can't see it yet will I trust you Jesus even when I feel all alone even when my joy is all gone Even when my heart has no song Yet will I trust you Jesus Through it all You're still good Through it all You're still who you say you are Through it all through every question in my life, I know you're still God. So I say, yet will I, even when my healing's not here, even when I'm battling fear. Even when I can't feel you near Yet will I trust you, Jesus Even when there's unanswered prayers Even when it seems no one cares Even when my life isn't fair Yet will I trust you, Jesus, through it all. 
you're still good through it all you're still who you say you are through it all through every question in my life i know you're still god so i say yet will i trust you yet will I praise you yet will I stand and wait on you yet will I love you yet will I serve you yet will I place my hope in you through it all you're still good through it all, you're still who you say you are. Through it all, through every question in my life, I know you're still God. I know you're still God. I know you're still God. So I say. Yet will I yeah. Wow, bro, come on. Yeah, that was absolutely beautiful, man. To me, I heard a lot about the unwavering trust uh, that we should all have in christ man and that is an absolute truth and staple in this walk isn't it for sure definitely man definitely we gotta i mean that that's the main thing is whatever we're going through in our life and um whatever we're dealing with just to to maintain that trust in him and sometimes it's a battle sometimes it's hard and and uh but when we when we put our trust in him beyond all else beyond whatever chaos or craziness that's going on in our lives he's always faithful to come through and to bring us through uh whatever we're facing and yeah man i just that message re resonated with me so much and um uh, yeah I'm, I'm just excited to see what what god's gonna do uh with this song and um we're supposed to be uh, doing it at church sometime soon so we'll, we're gonna see how how that goes and man it's i'm just God is just, he's just faithful, just faithful, for sure. Amen, he is. And you speak about church. What's the home church, brother? Give us a shout out. Yeah, home church is Calvary Tabernacle in Longview, Texas. So, yes, okay. sir. Okay, and what that idea just hit you like a stack of bricks when you were reading through Job one day, or did it come to you slowly? How'd that happen? So, I mean, well, like it was, like I, I said before, like, um, my pastor's wife was speaking at, at church um, last week, and she was saying things like, even when I, she was saying that, you know, it's hard to live up to being a Proverbs 31 woman. And she said, I want to I want to be a Job 13 woman. You know, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. She said, I want to be a yet will I woman. And she, she started going off on these, even when I don't understand, yet will I. Even when it doesn't make sense, yet will I. And, and just kept on going and going and I was like there's there's something there there's something there and and um uh, you know and then I drew from my own personal experiences and with God and just man it just that's how the how the song came to be brother amen amen and what you got on the plate for number 2 man um so quick question um how many am I doing 3 or four or how many um i guess i have to ask the host of the hosts <laughs> you can go up to four up to four my friend okay i i had four prepared i just i want to make sure because uh they're in a certain order so i was uh just gonna work through them this next one that i have 
is called uh, Look to You, and it's a um, it's a co-write that I did with uh, my friend Maria Siegerholm from Sweden, and uh, uh, we we were able to write the song. It's a it's another song about um, about trusting and hoping in the Lord and looking to Him uh, above all else. It's just called Look to You. So here we go. I know what you're doing, but I know what you promised. Though it feels like I'm sinking, my hope is in you. So I will look to Above the crashing waves You give peace right in the storm You reach out your loving arm God, you silence the sea You calm the fear in me I'm surrounded by your grace In your presence I am safe I will trust in your way your promise, your promise remains. You find me here in my struggle, trying hard to walk on water. In the midst of my weakness, my hope is in you. waves you give peace right in the storm you reach out your loving arm God you silence the sea you calm the fear in me I'm surrounded by your grace in your presence I am safe I will trust in your ways your promise your promise remains I will look to you Jesus I will look to you I will look to you Jesus I will peace right in the storm you reach out your loving arm God you silence the sea you calm the fear in me I'm surrounded by your grace in your presence I am safe I will trust in your ways your promise your promise remains I look to you I look to you your promise remains. I look to you. I look to you. I look to you. Man, you paint such a beautiful words with your picture. I had my eyes closed most of that song and just visualizing what you said. It was such a beautiful picture that you painted, Ben. Thank you. Appreciate it, brother. And this, uh, like I said, it was a Maria and I were working together on it, and just we were both walking through a, a tough time in our lives when we wrote it. This we it was back in 20, 2022 when we wrote it, and uh, yeah, it was just something we we both needed to hear as well during that time, um, and man, God's just so faithful to give give us songs that can help us through seasons that we're walking through you know 
Um, it's crazy when you, uh, you know, when you, when you write a song, I mean, like, um, one thing I've learned, you either have walked through it or you're going to walk through it. <laughs> and, and, uh, and God just gives you these songs and to, to encourage you during those times, you know, and, uh, yeah, I think about this one from time to time and uh, just go back to it and sing it, you know, just, God, I'm, I'm looking to you, you know, this is, that's all I can do sometimes is just look to him, you know, so, yeah. Amen, amen, well said. Um, so, another question that I have for you. Hi, wifey. Uh, um, another question that I have for you, what is your favorite scripture or book in the Bible? Man. That's a, that's, that's kind of a, a loaded question. Like <laughs> there's a lot. Um, I will say one of my, one of my go-to scriptures, um, is Romans five, eight. It says, um, but God, well, the King James version says, but God commendeth his love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Um, another version says God demonstrates his love for us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And, the reason the reason that that it's one of my favorites is because um, it says that it doesn't say when we were saints, right? It doesn't say when we were good when we had it all together, right? It says while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And so when I think about it, it's like you know, he already saw when we were at the lowest of our low. And when we were at the lowest of our low, he said, that's the ones I want to die for. And it gives me hope, you know, it, it just gives me hope, you know, when I'm, when I'm not batting a thousand or when I don't get everything right, I know that he demonstrated his love by dying for me in that very moment. You know, it's just like, it's, it's mind blowing, you know, and just, just to me to think that someone can love you, could love you that much and that he'd be willing to demonstrate that love for you and so yeah that's that's why it's one of my favorites man i i think mind-blowing is the perfect descriptor <laughs> i really do um four, four, what you got loaded up for number three my friend oh yeah so this one um i, I kind of have a running theme in the songs tonight i i this one's just called standing on your promises and um i um this was kind of like taking an old i was taking an old hymn that i'm going to tag at the end and just like making a, a, a giving a little more um modern take on on the on the song maybe not exactly like the song but just you know uh the message and so it's just called standing on your promises seen the righteous forsaken I've never seen their seed begging bread you're faithful Lord to what you have spoken your word is always yes and amen I'm standing on I'm standing on oh I'm standing on your promises I'm standing on I'm standing on oh I'm standing on your promises I'm living in the trust of your goodness I'm living in the hope of your grace no matter what I face, you have promised You'll be there every step of the way So I'm standing on I'm standing on mm -hmm. I'm standing on Your promises I'm standing on 
I'm standing on Ooh, oh, I'm standing on Your promises mm -hmm. We used to sing it like this Standing on the promises of God, my Savior. Standing, standing. I'm standing on the promises of God. I'm standing on. I'm standing on. Mm, I'm standing on. Your promises, I'm standing on. I'm standing on. Oh, I'm standing on your promises. Yeah. All right, man. Another beautiful song, uh, I must say. But I want to take you back into the Wayback Machine real quick from that period of 2002 to 2005 when Woo. you were studying at Texas Bible College, man. Give me your favorite memory from that time. If you could pick one favorite memory, bro. Hmm. Favorite memory. Ooh. Brother. I will... Honestly, it's kind of like a combined thing because um, we we did um, we did these chorale tours, right? Where our, our Bible college chorale went around to different churches and singing. And um, I remember the first the first chorale tour that we did. Um, there was a song that we sang called Jesus I Love You and um, it's a gospel song by Norman Hutchins and I, I think in my mind um, just remembering the impact that that song had on all of us and had on the churches that we would go to and sing it and it was you know like it was just over a over like a week and a week or week and a half time period of going to different churches and singing all these songs, but it was always that one song when you would when we just saw the spirit moving in among the people, and you know people would just be weeping and crying and praying, and I think that's that's one of the most impactful times of my life during during my Bible college experience was just remembering that that chorale tour and how how God. Um, just moved in our in our whole group and in every church that we got to sing at during that time. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for sharing, man. And what do you got in the number four spot? Yeah, in the number four spot, I have a a co write that I did with my friend Joya Smith, and it's um it's a song that's just called Mighty Plans, and um we I. Came with this idea. Um, my pastor had preached the message about um, how God has things in store for us. You know, like because we ha we've heard the scripture, "I have not seen nor heard ear heard uh, what God has in store for those that love Him." Um, and and he said he made this statement: We don't always know what God has in store for us, but the devil doesn't either. And uh, he said, there are things that God has planned for us that the enemy doesn't know about. There's blessings in store that the enemy has no idea or even is even common. And so I, I started fleshing out this idea about he's got good, good plans for me that the enemy doesn't even know about. And so we wrote the song uh, called Mighty Plans from that message. So... Doo -doo -doo -doo. You are not a man that you should lie 
You keep your every promise Your word you won't deny You are never shaken or surprised You know my every question You hear my every cry Even when I don't understand I still trust in your goodness You've been faithful before You're still faithful right now No power in hell could prevent What you're doing You've been faithful before you're still faithful right now Nothing could ever stand against Your mighty plans mm. You speak to the storm inside of me You calm my every worry your thoughts for me are peace You give me a future and a hope You hold my every moment You're always in control Even when I don't understand I still trust in your goodness Before you're still faithful right now, no power in hell could prevent what you're doing. You've been faithful before, you're still faithful right now. Nothing could ever stand against your mighty plan. plans for me that the enemy doesn't even know about now I won't let fear or doubt rob me of what you are working now you've got good plans for me that the enemy doesn't even know about now I won't let fear or doubt rob me of what you are working now you've got good plans for me that the enemy doesn't even have the power to stop and or block the blessings turning in my favor You've been faithful before You're still faithful right now No power in hell could prevent What you're doing You've been faithful before You're still faithful right now Nothing could ever stand against your mighty plans, yeah, your mighty plans, mm -hmm. your mighty plans. Anyway. Man. You know, the uh, last sentence of your bio it says you're consistently working on your craft and you seek to honor the Lord in every aspect of your life and your music. Uh, that bleeds through, brother. Uh, so thank you. I thank you for being a beacon of light and a beacon of hope for the people who are struggling, who may be lost. Man, your your songs resonate so loudly in my mind, and I'm grateful uh, because I'm not the only one. I know that for a fact. I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you. It's been a, it's been a journey in life, and and uh, you know God's God's been so faithful to me, and and uh, he's just he's just good. He's been good, you know, to to me, and 
uh, more than good, <laughs> uh, more than good, more than I, more than I've deserved, brother. Um, I, God's been so good and so faithful, and He's come through time and time again. I, I've been through some some dark days, and uh, I've seen some crazy stuff, but God has been faithful through it all, you know. And and uh, I, I was telling uh, a young man uh, just just the other day. You know the one the one thing that I that I try to encourage people is, is just just be faithful to God just 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 keep holding on because you know I'd hate to live and go through all the things in life without God <laughs> you know like it rains on the just and the unjust that's what the Bible says. I mean, storms are going to come, and I'd rather have him with me than not, you know. <laughs> and, um, man, and it's, it's made all the difference. It's made all the difference having him with me. Um, and, yeah, brother, that's, that's just what it's all about is just uh, he's faithful to us. Why not be faithful to him, you know? <laughs> Yes, Amen, sir. brother. Yes, sir. Amen. And I would love it if you could uh, let us know where we can find you, where we can find your music at, my friend. Yeah, so um, I I have uh, that one, my one song out, You Are My Hope, um, it's just under Chris Barton. Um, one, uh, the group that released my song Encounters called UPCI Music, uh, you can find that everywhere as well. Um, and then I, I'm just under Chris Barton Music on the on uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and uh, Chris Barton Official on TikTok. Yeah. Amen. Well, thank you so much for being here tonight on uh, number three forty eight Red's Room, my friend. Three forty eight. Yes, sir. Such a blessing, and I appreciate all of you.